Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel. As you'll notice, the bookcase behind me is completely bare. There is a reason for that. With each video that I upload, I will be reviewing slash introducing you to a new book. And, and it will go on the shelf. Now, as well as being a huge fan of books and different literature, I am also an author. So, the first book that I will be reviewing, well, not so much reviewing as letting you know about, is Kelpie's Curse by me, Rosemary E. Roar. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but I'm German, so kind of looks more like Roar Roar. But trust me, it is Roar. And if you're wondering about the eyes, back in my high school days, I was a tad bit goth. Not, not one of my finer mo moments. But people keep buying me makeup and I need to use said makeup really I'm just trying to get rid of this shit <laughs> but anyway on to the review Kelpie's Curse uh, well not review Duh. why do I keep saying review on to letting you guys know about my book I am I am really excited about this after well, this whole thing started when I found NaNoWriMo, and I did the 50,000 words in a single month challenge, and things have just kind of taken off from there. That's the air conditioner. And I completed it. I wrote over 50,000 words in just one month, and ever since then, uh, I took, took a year before I finally published it, but I added more. I edited and edited and edited. So much editing. Oh, my word. <laughs> Honestly, this thing could be a bestseller. This could be on the New York Times bestseller list right up there with some of my favorite authors. And I'm still going to be like, if I never read that thing again, it'll be too soon. I never want to read this thing again. Not because it's not good. I mean, I've been told it's good. I hope it's good. But I've just read too many, too many times. And this is one of the struggles as an author. It's when, you know, you one of your friends or someone else is like, oh my God, this book is amazing. I love it. You're such a great writer. <laughs> and you're sitting here going, really? Really? It's not good. No. I know it. Because I wrote it. Every word. And it's crap. It is complete crap. But that, you know, that just comes with the territory. Another thing is, is, you know, as a writer, you get very protective over your work. Sometimes too protective. Oh, am I rambling on? Bear with me, this is my first video. But I will read the back to you. This is not the full back. Well, it is the full back, but it's here, but there is more. It is available on Amazon for in paperback form. It's available on Amazon for $12. Not including shipping and handling, of course. And if you have Kindle, then it's only a dollar unless you have Kindle Unlimited at, in which completely free. So read, please, read till your little heart's content. I didn't, I didn't write it so no one would read it. That'd just be ridiculous. Alright, so, 
When Renestre Frank, a young woman from small town USA, won a trip to Scotland for herself and her two best friends, she thought her luck was finally changing. The landscape was beautiful, Caloria swooned over the accents, and Renestre just knew that with enough prodding, even Evelyn would put her modern sensibilities aside for the myth and folklore of the country. Unfortunately, appearances can be deceiving, and it isn't long before their peaceful vacation turns into a nightmare. Now there is more. Basically, people start dying. The local populace suspects our three heroes. And one of them, the main character, Renestre, discovers that it's actually a kelp. A water horse with the taste for human flesh that's killing off the villagers. And of course, yada yada yada, the killer may be closer than they think. So, please, if you are interested in horror and the paranormal, and you're not squeamish when writers describe bodies, then please give my book a try. I can't beg anymore. Please give my book a try. <laughs> but you know, hey, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. And I can hear my baby crying. So, bye Tubies! <laughs>